research video on how to set up a goal funnel within Google Analytics. My name is Alex Cooper and I'm going to be taking you through it today. Okay, a goal funnel is a very important part of Google Analytics because it allows you to see how visitors pass through your checkout process and whether they're dropping off at any particular point or if there's any problems um, within your checkout process. So to set it up, basically we need to tell Google Analytics um, each page uh, that a visitor needs to go through in order to convert or in order to buy a product. We're going to be setting it up for a website called Bumps and Babes, which is a uh, baby uh, product website. Uh, we're going to purchase a product and then as we go through the checkout process, we're going to um, add each step um, to Google Analytics. So um, here is the website and I'm going to buy this product here. So I'm going to just add that to basket and then I'm going to check out. So this is the first page uh, within the checkout process. This is the first page that we need to add to Google Analytics. So I'm going to copy this URL, uh, go back into Google Analytics, uh, which I'm accessing via the AdWords interface. Uh, I then click on Edit, and I then click on Add Goal. I'll give the goal a name, which is a purchase. Um, let's put it in set two. I mean, you can put it wherever you want. It's just a way of managing all your goals. Um, it's a URL destination. Now, at the moment, we don't know the end goal URL. We'll find that when we get to the end of the checkout process. But for now, we'll start to set up the goal funnel. So down the bottom here, uh, you notice I just clicked on the button, add goal funnel. Uh, and then we need to insert step one. Now you don't need to add the entire domain name here, so you only need to add the last bit. So let's just take domain name off. Okay. And let's give it a name. Let's just double check that bit is the view basket. So let's just call that view basket. Okay. And we click on place order. So this is step two. Just wanted to check the URL change there. It did. So we need to add this part to step two. And we'll call this um, the registration page or the yeah, registration page to continue to check out so this is step three which is invoice information so again I'm just adding the uh, the last part of the URL after the um, domain with a, a slash at the beginning. Got to make sure that slash is there, that's important. Ooh, need to clean that one off a bit. There we go. And um, we'll call this one uh, invoice information. Now I just quickly need to fill this in. I'm going to blur it out so that you can't uh, steal all my details, but. Um, you get the idea. You may be able to pass through your own checkout uh, without having to fill it in if you if you know what the URLs are. Okay, I filled in the form. Um, so now we're on to the next page, which is this place order page. So we need to add that as another step within Google Analytics. So I'm just copying and pasting. Then we're through to the place order now. So we now come to this page and we need to add this last step, um, which does have a unique ID on the end there. Do you see that? So we need to set Google Analytics to a head match, um, which we'll just do, which is up here. This means that um, it will start from the left to right, so that any unique identifiers on the end will be uh, taken off. So let me just check I've got no order IDs or anything on here. There is one, so I need to just take that off. Just 
check that. Step three, yeah. And we'll call that payment. Okay, so now what happens, make payment. I'm now taken off to um, an external payment provider. So unfortunately, we can't obviously track this. Um, so this is where uh, I'm going to go through the payment system and see, hopefully, if I return to another page. Let me just go through this and uh, be right back. Okay, I've completed the payment side. Uh, you can see I've got my email just come through, and I've ended up on this page. So this is the ultimate, uh, the end of the goal. This is when someone has paid, uh, completed, uh, done everything they need to do. So we need to add this as the... Um, the success page. So again, there's a court, there's a cart order here. So we don't want that on there. So I'm just going to take this bit and go back to Google Analytics. And this bit is the actual goal URL because that's the end of the process. So we stick that in there. And let's just take tick required step because everyone has to do that, and then we're done. So we save goal. And you should be all done. You'll start to get some data coming through very soon. And to access your goal funnel, if you go into reporting, uh, sorry, if you go into view reports, and then go to goals, funnel vi visualization down here. You can see that there's no data here, but there's our funnel. Good. Good luck with setting up your uh, goal funnels.